Hello, this is Wood and today I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of the very very basics of Ableton Live 9 for those of you who are new to this program and want to learn how to make your own mega epic laser funky ass music and stuff. Okay, let's do this. So here's the program uh, to make an audio or MIDI track. Right click, insert audio or MIDI track or as I always do using the short commando is command T for audio track shift command T for MIDI track uh, let's give it another audio track and then we're gonna open our browser by pressing alt command B and here you have uh, audio effects, MIDI effects, plugins, samples etc uh, we're gonna start off by choosing a nice kick sample here's uh, some kicks from uh, my own sample pack which you can download in the description below right here uh, let's see uh, let's go with this one I'm gonna... to duplicate a sample hold alt and just click the sample and drag it along like this or you can also uh, select all of them and uh, press uh, command D like this now we have a few kicks here uh, let's loop this section by pressing command L and we're gonna need a snare as well let's see that's good don't want them overlapping that okay here we have have a very very basic beat press a uh, space bar to play Okay, and now for the MIDI track, uh, we're gonna add a bass line to this. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go more in depth in other tutorials for bass design and all that crazy stuff. So for this tutorial, we're just gonna use uh, a, a finished instrument rack I did a while ago. Let's see if this one will work, I guess. Uh, yeah. Here's Massive for ya, the plugin uh, which is both loved and hated all over the world and especially on YouTube. Okay, uh, now we can either record notes for this bass live or we can program them. Uh, but we're gonna record them with uh, the computer's keyboard this time. Okay, press uh, record. Okay, uh, really boring bass line. Don't know what I'm doing, but uh, it should be fine. Uh, here I've opened up the uh, MIDI clip, which I just recorded. And now you can edit this uh, in uh, any way you want. You can either quantize it by selecting all the notes and pressing Command U. And now it's all uh, tight and nice. You can also add more notes to it uh, by uh, you can see you, you can switch the note value by pressing Command one or two, or you can add uh, m make the note grid go in triplets like this. Command three. Or you can just turn off the grid completely to like, put the notes wherever you want them. But we're gonna do some uh, stuff like this. Perhaps. Yeah. Let's see. Pretty weird melody, but uh, I hope it's all right with you guys. Just a tutorial, nothing serious. Mm -hmm. Let's 
Sí. Okay. There we go. Um Alright, okay, uh, now we're gonna do some quick mixing uh, with this. As you can see there's already an uh, EQ uh, plugin here and you can find all those uh, plugins that you get with Ableton here under the audio effects tab and there's the EQ. Just either double click it and it will end up on the, the track you've selected. Or you can drag and drop, like a lot of other programs. And uh, another thing I like to do sometimes uh, is to group the kick and snare by pressing Command D. Oh no, sorry, Command G. Like this. Name it uh, kick and snare. And then we can add a compressor to do some side chaining. By pressing the little arrow, the side chain, kick snare. Sounds uh, a bit boring, so uh, let's uh, give this some. Uh, movement by adding the auto filter uh, I'm gonna shoot this one and do some automations automations in, in Ableton is uh, really simple just press the, uh, the knob or function you want to automate and it'll end up here so and then you can just do some nice automations, blah blah. Like this perhaps, and some. Uh... Yeah. Uh, let's add uh, some chorus. Add uh, like a hi hat loop or something to this. Uh, there we go. And now you can stretch these samples to uh, make them uh, fit up, uh, the tempo of the track. Let's see, like this, I guess. And then. Uh, And we're gonna duplicate the sidechain compressor uh, from uh, the bass to the hi hat loop as well. Okay, that's it for this time. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, then don't hesitate to send me an email either here or on my Facebook page. Uh, I also take requests, so if you have anything special you want me to cover in another tutorial, or uh, maybe a certain sound from one of my songs, or random techniques, or I don't know, how to cook pasta, or whatever, then let me know. Uh, and the new Budvusila EP is coming, so uh, check out my pages so you don't miss it. Uh, rate, comment and subscribe. Bye.